The power of SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D is seen when using a SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematics project. Inside SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematics Professional, you can add the SOLIDWORKS 3D assemblies that was used in the electrical design. Each location can have its own sub-assembly. These assemblies can be created in SOLIDWORKS 3D CAD. Just like with all the other drawings, the assemblies will be added to the active project book for you to access when ready. Once the SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D add-in is added to SOLIDWORKS, you can open the 2D project inside of SOLIDWORKS and gain access to all the drawings in your electrical project. The dialog will show you what project is already open and notify you if any other person is working on the current project that you are opening. Once the project is loaded into the task pane, all the currently open drawings will be highlighted in red. You can open the different drawings and reports to view the project and see what still needs to be done. You can open the SOLIDWORKS assembly that was used in the electrical schematics design. SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D will show you all the electrical components that was used in the 2D schematics design. These components will have all the symbol and manufacturing part information that was applied in SOLIDWORKS Electrical Schematics. When working on the project in Electrical Schematics, any changes made to the design is almost immediately available in Electrical 3D. In SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D, you can open and view the sub-assemblies. All the models can be assigned to the 2D components from the Electrical Component Manager. This will ensure that the components will be routed as intended from the Electrical Schematics project. Once each component is assigned, the 3D model will then be added to the Electrical Component Manager. With each association made, the 3D model becomes unavailable to reassociate, making it easy for us not to accidentally associate the same component twice. Using the auto route function to automatically route the wires as intended from the design saves you a lot of time. You can set up the routing properties and have SOLIDWORKS do the rest on your behalf. When the wire routing is complete, you will get a 3D representation of the wires. You can view and rotate the model to see how the components have been routed. And when switching to the top assembly, you will have the ability to see the sub-assembly updated with the wires as they have been routed. You can also hide all the components that have been assigned to see if you are still missing any. Again, SOLIDWORKS is making it easy for us to make sure we have not missed any components that need to be associated in our project. In Electrical 3D, you can define what the routing path will look like for the cables and wires that needs to be routed. Setting up the origin and the destination of cables that will be routed will ensure that the cables can follow a specified path. Once this is done, you can have SOLIDWORKS route the cables. Once the cables have been routed, we will have another 3D representation for the cables. The cable links will then be read into our project for further use. To complete this, you can create a 2D drawing from the 3D model. This can then be added to the project as well. A complete solution that can be used as a team or if you are doing all of the work by yourself.